Hey Saber fans, Tony here from Ronin Sabers, and today I'm reviewing an Ultra Sabers Fallen Order hilt. Now this hilt was used by T'Pol and handed down to Cal Kestis during the Fallen Order video game. Now in the video game you can have tons of customizations, you can change the color, you can change the, the body, you can have a staff versus single blade, and I tried to capture that during this build, and it does a pretty good job. Now this lightsaber was given to me by a customer, um, a bounty hunter from TikTok, named Garius Aram, and he weathered it before sending it to me, and the weathering is quite crude. It has welding scorches all over the hilt, it has knobs and stuff that can come off of course, but it has like black paint, he cut off half of the emitter, he has a huge like clash or cut in the middle of the, the, the grip section there, and then the emitter, he has the scorch sections here, and he has half the emitter cut off, I mean not emitter, pommel, pommel cut off. Now this lightsaber is huge, like Ultra Sabers in general has give you pretty large hilts, but this one probably captures sizing correctly. Now, T'Pol is a very, very giant Jedi, and so therefore he wields a giant lightsaber. Compared to the Graflex, it is extremely long. As you can see, this is about 13 inches, the Graflex is about 11. And so, there's a decent comparison, but it's it's a beast. With this saber, I'm not recommending sparring, but this saber could definitely take a beating and be fine. I mean, it's already taken a pretty good beating, it looks like, but it's fantastic. Now, as installation goes, there are screws here that unscrew, and he was missing one, so I put a retention screw for the adapter, and I gave him a new AV switch, and then I gave him Profi, of course, running 4.7, one button mod, and so I 3D printed my own chassis, Profi board, USB, access, 2.1 recharge port, and a 28mm wow speaker. Now, the cool thing about this build is that the speaker sits about right where the um, Cobratech wheel is, and so you get all the pummel chamber resonance and it's crazy loud already because it's a loudspeaker a wow speaker sorry but the pommel just increases that tenfold so now this lightsaber is running about 10 fonts plus the rainbow blade i asked the customer if he wanted a rainbow blade and he was like just throw it on there so that's what i did i added him a, a rainbow blade so let's go put a blade in there so we're going to go through the fonts and the functionality of the one button so this is using 22 sacks as one button mod so it's a bit different than managing the Shatok, stock NeoPixel one button mod. So with this, it's just one tap or hold it down for two seconds to get the next preset. This is your first font. This is Unstable V2 by Kyberphonic. All these fonts are Kyberphonic, so I'll just save the time there by saying it there. Um, so yeah. So a quick tap, just turn it on. Quick tap for blasters. Responsive. Holding clash for lockup. Also responsive. You've got double tap and hold to do lightning lockup. Also responsive. You can control the intensity if you twist the hilt. I don't know how well that shows up, but yeah. Now multi-blast mode, you have to hold it and swing, and you'll get a fat false blast to indicate that you're into the mode. So you hold it, you hear that blast, and then now you don't have to hit any button to blast, you just swing it. Now to get out of this mode, you just tap it again, and then you're out of it. Now, force effects, you tilt it upward, hold down the button, and twist. It's very quiet, but there we go. And then for color change, you go down and twist. And you go into it, and you see unstable blue. And then you have the color changing. Now, to turn it off, you have to hold it down until it turns off. Now, the next preset, you hold it another two seconds. Now, to go to the previous preset, you have to hold it until it boots the next, the, the previous boot set. So, let's demo that. So, this is your next font, but say if you wanted to go back, just hold it down. And it goes back to your preset. You tap it three times to get battery voltage. Just in case you know, so if, if it's low battery or not, if it doesn't tell you, that's how you know. Now, the volume setting is a bit tricky. Uh, I won't go into that because you shouldn't be messing with your volume anyways. Um, it's this is the second font, Commander Tano. Now with this one, I have an unstable um, buildup and unstable uh, retraction, and then it has a responsive color um, swing. So it doesn't turn entirely white like Vader's if I did a Vader font, but just a lighter blue. Blast fades. Now with this one, now to do tracks on it, you have to double tap while the saber's off to enter in the track mode. So double tap. This is Race ripped from uh, Season 7 of Clone Wars. And then... Next one. Oh, yeah, the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise. This is 
the tragedy. Your third fall. <laughs> track for this is uh, Darth Plagueis from Mosa 2. This is Des no, Scavenger's Destiny from episode 9 by Cyberphonic. It has a prion effect, and this one also has a oh, color swing. I think it's, no, it's a white swing. Unlikesable. This is the light side version of the Unstable, also by Kyberphonic. I, he wanted a, a lighter blue, so I did like a cyan. Next up. It is obvious that this contest cannot be decided by our knowledge of the Force. Counts Claw. This track is uh, Yoda versus Count Dooku during Attack of the Clones. Good At last, we will have our revenge. This is Menace. track for this is Fates. Next one. I am a Jedi, like my father before me. The Return. It has all force effects are, are uh, R2-D2, which I thought was quite nice. Very crisp font. So this is a new font for me. Um, this is Night Sister, which is supposed to capture Asajj Ventress during the Clone Wars. Very new font for me, but I'm I like it. I like it a lot. You can hear the clone ambience in the background. Yeah. It looks like I'm here to rescue you. What you talk's Kenobi in Clone Wars. The track is I'm not sure what it is, but it's it's Sister One I think on the SD card, but it's supposed to be during the Clone Wars. Now this is, interesting enough, the only font from the video game that made it on the saber. It's called the Second Sister from Kyberphonic. So this is the Inquisitor that Cal encounters during the video game. And so, very fantastic font. Also a new font for me. mistaken this is a collaboration between K-Sith and Kyberphonic. It's a very, very good, well-constructed font. Now, very last. They threw on a rainbow blade. Because, you know, why not? And that's it. 11 fonts. Back to the beginning. Alright, that concludes my review of the Ultra Sabers build. Garius, I hope you enjoy the Saber. I hope it helps you on your Bounty Hunter missions. Please like, comment, comment any questions about the build, any questions you have about the fonts. Commissions can be seen through the link below. I take them through my Instagram. Share, share with fans, family, anybody who likes Star Wars. Also, click the subscribe button to see every Saber I'm building. I post videos Monday and Friday. As always, I hope you're having a wonderful day, and may the Force be with you.